you guys. Let's build this uh, valve body back. We'll start off by uh, putting back the uh, wiring harness here. There are one, two, three, four hex screws here. Or solenoids. Make sure you guys got three of these identical ones. They have the little uh, slot here. That's for the uh, retaining pin that goes in on the other side to lock these solenoids. The other one right here, the retaining pin will go on top. It's right here in the front. So let's put these back. I'll show you which ones go where. So the three identical ones, they go here, here, and here and the one that's different will go here so let's put it back in actually before you put it in put the connectors in you can't mix up these connectors because they're their their length go only to where they're supposed to go to so this is the temperature sensor well, this connects on the outside when we put the other side of the valve body on so we'll wait for that let's go into work in here so what do we have here we've got filter that goes right here, this corner. Make sure you're putting it in the right direction. There's a, there's a thicker side. Uh, the other one goes over here. And we got another one that goes right here. We've got two check ball valves, one right here and one right here. So let's put those back in. One there, one there. I almost forgot the damn retaining pins. There are four that holds the solenoids. Looks like I'm missing it. Let's see the pins go right through there. I like to pull it out a little bit. There we go. So this one doesn't go all this one didn't go all the way in. It's kinda out a little bit. I pulled it out a little bit and the pin went right in. So now we can't move the solenoid. You could feel it actually go down. There we go. Here's the other one here, so just wiggle the solenoid here, 
push this down. There we go. Wiggle this solenoid. Push this pin down right here. Retaining pin. There we go. All right. Everything's locked up. We got one, two, three, four pins in, two check ball valves, and three filters. One, two, and three. Now let's put our plate back on. I'm gonna make sure this is clean. There are two filters here that face up. One goes right there. The other one goes right over here. Make sure everything is straight. Let's put this guy back. Straight as possible. So you don't knock those filters off. I mark the holes where they're where the screws go into. They're in the all these green ones. These screws are here. Put them all back. Now there are three short ones, not the super, super short ones. These, these ones go to your uh, transmission uh, filter. Oh, not these right here. These three go here. One, two, and the third one's right here. Three. We also have, these ones with the with the uh, the nut on it. This goes. There's one here. Take this screw. Goes on the underside. Just come up. There we go. Right there. Put the nut on there. I'm gonna have to take some of these out anyways because the wiring harness connects to it. All right, so here it is. Bring this guy around. This is the temperature sensor. Learning as I go, guys. You guys will see all my mistakes. And you guys can do this more efficiently than I can. So that, will, I took this one out and it actually goes here. Holding the temperature sensor bracket. So now, we will need to take this one out and this one down here. Forget to connect this sensor. All right, here we go. We're putting in the the last solenoid here. Same thing here. It's got the number five hex.
to connect this back into here. Hand tighten these, one, two, three, four, and holy crap, I forgot the one down here, five. Transmission filter screws go here. One, two, three. I'm not gonna put those down. I'm just gonna stick them on here so I don't know when I install the uh, transmission filter. And that is that. We're gonna torque these to eight foot pounds. Did I miss any of them? And that's it. And that's part one to rebuilding this transmission. Thanks guys. Like it and subscribe. We're gonna finish rebuilding this uh, this entire crappy CVT transmission and hopefully it'll work. See you on the next one. Thank you.